So what is up Africana fam, it's your girl Young Africana back at it again with another video. Today I'll be showing you guys how to do a full install from start to finish, how to style your wigs, curl your wigs, install your wig, do the ball cap method, everything. I'm showing every little nitty gritty detail and also showing you guys tips and tricks and things that you should avoid while doing the install. There were definitely a lot of mistakes that I've made in this video that I want you guys to learn from. So I went ahead and posted this just to be a little bit more transparent about my work and also too that not everything is perfect. So without further ado, if you want to see how I achieve this look, then keep on watching. All right, so the first thing we're going to go ahead and start doing is styling. This hair is sponsored by Clay Hair. I have their 13 by 4 HD lace front to wig, and the density is 180, and I got it in 26 inches. So, yeah, that was a whole mouthful, but <laughs> we got in tune. So the first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is just start, you know, parting my hair into a side part. I kind of wanted to go for like this sexy, voluminous curl vibe. I feel like whenever I do curls, I always do a middle part. So I wanted to switch it up and go ahead and do a side part. So I transferred my wig from my head onto my mannequin head and I placed it on my mannequin head just so I could get like, you know, the back section of where I cut um, some of the hair horizontally just to cover up the tracks. And I used my Cara Care wax stick just to tame the flyaways and to just get the hair nice and laid. And right now I'm using my hot comb. I'm using my hot comb on this hottest setting and I'm just gonna go ahead and just press out that hair you guys I want to press out everything and I did bleach the knots one thing that I would definitely say is that if you notice that your knots are still a little bit black and you plan on tinting your lace with a lace tint which I did please make sure that you dye your knots to like a nice brown almost going to like a golden type of color i definitely noticed that my knots were still black after the first time that i bleached it but i didn't go ahead and bleach it a second time and that kind of messed me up a little bit because you know my knots ended up being black still when i tinted it but that's besides the point i'm gonna go ahead and just blow out the waves from the hair the hair was a little bit wavy so i just want to kind of comb out those waves just so i can have the hair pretty straight but still puffy enough where it could hold a curl so i'm just using my wig brush and i'm using my blow dryer on the hottest setting and i'm just going to go ahead and blow dry that hair And it doesn't have to be bone straight like I've said before. It does not have to be bone straight. But you just want to make sure that most of the waves are out. And now on to the curling. When it comes to curling, you want to make sure that you have beautiful layers. So right now I'm cutting some inches off of this wig. I'm not going to lie. Um, You don't have to cut off inches. But I wanted to go for like an extreme layered look. So inches had to be cut. <laughs> so right now I'm just going to go ahead and do my base cut to see where I want it to be um, you know, cut at in general. Before I start going in with layers. So I'm kind of just taking off some inches and cutting straight across. And I'm using these shears. And I'm kind of cutting up in an upwards motion but still in the straight line as well and I'm gonna go ahead and do that all around the hair until the hair is nice and even and to the length that I want it to be at so now that I have my base cut now we're gonna go into layering so right now what I like to do is I like to start where um, you know my fringe bangs are going to be i like to start at that area first just so i could get a general idea of where i want my layers to start at and then i just follow suit all around the hair so right now i'm just taking a piece of the bang that i you know going to do my bangs at and i'm taking my razor comb and i'm just razoring off the hair just to give myself some nice beautiful layers and right now what I'm doing is I'm just going in a diagonal motion. So every time I gather hair, I kind of cut where I last cut out from the original part. So again, when you're cutting the hair, you want to make sure that you're um, using your first cut as your guideline. And then just cut diagonal when you go around the hair. So you're almost cutting it in a V. Hopefully this is making sense and I'm not rambling too much. But yeah, you just want to make sure that you cut where you last cut at when you're going into your new section and just cut in a diagonal motion going downwards and again just layers just give your hair a fuller look your curls are going to be more voluminous and i just feel like it's necessary when you want like big bouncy curls like you just have to do layers so now i'm going to go ahead and go on the other side and then start my layers 
And again, I'm just going to go in a diagonal downward motion and then I'm going to gather some hair and then, you know, cut where I last cut at. So again, I'm just using where I last cut at as my guideline to cut further around the hair. As you guys can see, I'm going to go to the longest part of where I last cut at and then start cutting diagonally down with the new section. And now what I like to do is I like to clean up a little bit. I like to take my hair in big, chunky, vertical sections. And I like to go in with my shears and just, you know, get rid of any of the dead ends. This is really just like the cleanup process of it. Because I like my ends very full. So when we curl our hair, our hair just looks lively and not dead.
Now I'm using my eyebrow razor and I'm gonna go ahead and cut my baby hairs about an inch long. Um, I'd rather you cut your baby hairs a little bit longer and then, you know, cut in between if you feel like it's a little bit too long than for you to cut it short because you can't stick back on hair. <laughs> And for my tendrils, aka my ear baby hairs, the guideline I like to use is I like to cut right below where my earlobe hangs at. That's like my guideline when it comes to cutting the earlobes. Not cutting the earlobes. Oh my gosh, it's just people what I just said. Cutting my tendrils. All right, now on to the baby hairs. I'm doing the Arrogante method of baby hairs. So I'm taking my bed head flat iron. I believe it's in three-fourths of an inch. And I'm just curling inwards. You want to make sure you get real curly with this, you guys. Get real curly with this one. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and curl it around. And I feel like this is so beginner friendly just because you don't have to use no mousse or anything and then you know your lace start lifting and stuff this is very easy and your weight your lace will not lift so now I went in with my got to be spritz not spritz my got to be spray and now I'm going in with my baby hair comb and I'm just gonna go ahead and just you know play around with the baby hair and just kind of form the baby hair and this is super easy I don't know why we didn't learn this like a long time ago this is definitely a game changer and I'm just gonna go ahead and do that all around my hair and you guys these are the finished results I hope you guys learned a lot from this video like comment subscribe to my channel if you have not please go ahead and do so and I'll catch you guys in the next video now watch me film myself and look good later